Hi everybody and welcome to part 3 of the videos on limited and excess reactions. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be finding how to figure out how much excess is left over. So just remember that we were mixing two things. So we were mixing A and B together. And A was limited, meaning that there was not enough of it. And there was too much of B. So obviously the reaction happened to the extent of how much A there was. Okay, so once A ran out, B could not convert into anything. It was just sitting there doing nothing, basically. So, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be now analyzing, hey, what happens when you have the reaction finishing and how do you calculate how, do you calculate how much B is left over? How do you calculate how much excess is gone? Okay, or how much excess stays? Okay, so we're going to be doing that right now. Now, if you just recall, this was limited. And that was excess. And to be able to find how much B we had left over, we have to take a few steps. First, we need to use this limited information to be able to figure out how much of A actually reacted with B. So we're going to use stoichiometry. We're just going to use the limited value to figure out how much B actually was involved in the reaction with A. So let's do that right now. It's just like how we, how we obtain these, but it's just on the same side. That's the only difference. So mole of um, B, if we want to find it, remember we do basically what we want. We want B, so we want to put a 3 at the top. This is just getting the factor. Over what we don't want is 2, and then we have the mole of A. Okay, so that's basically what we need to calculate. We need to go 3 over 2 times by 2 mole of A, and then we get 3 mole. Okay, so basically we have 3 mole of B reacting with A. So this is how much reacted. Don't know if you can see that, but it's the amount of mole of B reacted. It's 3 mole. Okay, now the original amount of mole of B, the original one was this. It was 4 mole. So, Basically, what we do now is we can calculate the mole of B left, which is the excess value, okay? Um, all we need to do is we need to take the original mole of B and subtract it from the mole of B reacted. Okay, so we just simply have a mole of B originally as 4, and then the mole of B reacted is 3, and then we end up getting 1 mole of B left over. So this is our excess amount. This is how much B is actually in excess. Okay, so then if this was a practical example, you can convert that into other formats such as mass or volume or whatever kind of information you're given. I hope that helped. I hope you have a good understanding. Remember that this is very important in being able to calculate the um, mole left. So just in three steps basically what you have to do is first use the limited to find how much um, how much of the excess actually reacted with it. The second thing is you have to get the original mole of the excess and the third thing is you just have to subtract them too and get the difference and that gives you your excess or how much is left over. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you all next, next lesson. <laughs>